Coach, what do you think about your group? And, uh, you know, you got, you got guys out there. I got guys out there, but about a month and a half ago, I had one guy take me out pretty good, pretty bad. The one that you just spoke, the, the one that you just spoke to, that I told him, I said, you may not ever get a catch from Baylor. I said, if you hit me again like that, but I said, it, it's been a good group, and we're kind of everybody's kind of learning what others' mix are, so it's a good deal right now. How easy has it been to kind of focus, on, like, insert this tight end group into a new offense? Has that been a challenge? What have been the learning curves there? I th it's it's been new for these guys because they were in 12 person and it's not so much 12 personnel but just outside zone scheme and more kind of play action naked driven things like that so it's a, I think one of my players today said coach I've run more 15 yard routes than I have in five years here so, I mean it's it's kind of a learning process from playing a little more up tempo pace than than it was before a good thing have they embraced that change oh they've they've embraced it I think from football school through now through camp they've kind of understood the process of what we're trying to do. And it's kind of the, the philosophy saying we're still trying to learn some aspects of kind of what we're good at. Has anybody in particular stepped up or are you still like, is it just a one big blob or? I think every day is kind of a different day. That's what I say. It's just like 51st dates sometimes I think they act like is, you know, one day that somebody may step up a little bit more. You know, Yates is, had, he has a role that he plays in the blocking scheme. Trigg made a play, and Klopp made a play today out there. Kelsey, it just dinged up his shoulder a little bit, so he wasn't out there today. So they've all contributed in different ways. And even Cody, Cody made a play the other day in the scrimmage, and it was good to see him, and, and Hawk has too. So, I mean, I think the, one of the first scrimmages, I think everybody had a catch besides Gavin that first scrimmage. What is Gavin's role? Kind of the same thing. To be uh, really, I, I've asked him. I've, I've kind of, yeah. Besides knocking the, besides taking his coach out and kind of putting him on the shelf for four to five months, but you know, I told Gavin, I said, I want you know, you're the older veteran. I said, I want you to be the leader of this group and try to have a voice and you know, kind of get guys going from that standpoint. And I think he's done a he's done a good job. And sometimes I told him, I said, sometimes you have to take a bigger role amongst the whole offensive group. Saying that. In terms of the group as a whole, is there? Can you sense that there's extra motivation within them when you come in and there's not a guy who comes back with 600, 800 receiving yards and it feels like there's that opening for somebody to step up and fill that number one role? And I think any time you have a new coach, I think they know that there's, even if there was a returning veteran, it's like I told them, I said, everything I see from you is new. So everything I'm judging you based on today and tomorrow and the next day. So whatever you did last year in the film may show great things, but I said, you know, I'm only judging what I, what I see. I said, I see it on film, and that was past tense. And I said, I got to play for today and, and play for tomorrow. I'm curious if when Gavin got you, did the change business as usual, or was it just uh, not a normal day? Uh, it wasn't a normal day. He caught me pretty good. So he ended up, uh, it tore my rotator cuff, and it separated my shoulder. I said, and I told him, I said, if you don't hit anybody as hard like that or as hard as that on game day, I'll be very disappointed or you won't play very much. And he came up to me and said, Coach, that's probably one of the hardest hits I've had in college football. I said, that's, I said I'm glad to know that, Gavin. I was going to say, do you leave more impressed with his ability to hit or is he more than doghouse? You know what? I don't think I had time to kind of – and I, I, I got Kelsey because I was talking to Kelsey at the time. So Kelsey said, kind of look out. But I thought Gavin was kind of hitting me at the same time, so I kind of got on Kelsey too. I said, "Was this a tag team combo that you're kind of trying to take the coach out?" Testing, you Testing they were trying to test the waters. But you know, I told Gavin, I said, and I and it's hard because you could tell that he felt bad from that situation. I said, "Things happen," and I said, "Accidents happen," and I said, "I don't expect you to change the way you are, the way you do things. I expect you to go 100% all the time." How's it been working under Coach Spadatel and seeing Coach Aranda do his stuff on? It's, it's good to finally go with uh, Coach Aranda and not have to go on the opposite sidelines against Coach Aranda. I've known Spav and had friends and things like that. I've coached with Spav. So it's, it's good to kind of get back in the system with the system that I'm used to. And what's that offensive staff like? Just because it's all new faces except for Coach Baker. It's, it's funny because some of us know, have been in systems kind of similar to, we, to each other. So I said we all kind of get into that. So Baker's really the old, the old goat in the, in the room from that standpoint. But all of us gel pretty, I mean, in a good fashion in that way. What draws you to a job like Baylor? <laughs> Probably getting back to 
playing that team up north sometimes, I said, just kind of the added motivation. But I said, I don't have to add motivation from that, from that standpoint. But, uh, you know, when I stepped in the office and with the interview with Coach Aranda, I said, that probably put me at ease. And with Mr. Mack, I said, just talking to them and seeing what they're trying to build and get to the, to the next level. Did you know Coach Aranda very well? Or? Only just from play, just never, never knew, just going against him, standing across the sidelines, just trying to, to win the game on that, day, on that day. Is there anything football-wise that he talks about that even in your experience, you're still like, well, I can't. How does he see that? Because we hear about how his mind just works. So you know what, what's so funny is I think uh, – I was here for two days, and we were flying to go to recruit a young man, going to recruit Michael Trigg, and I'm thinking, okay, I'm trying to get a recruit. I'm on the private plane with Coach Aran. I said, am I going to screw this thing up or mess this thing up? And, I, and it's, it was ironic. He was drawing defenses up that day, and I'm like, I feel like I'm in a time zone like with the other coach that I coached with. It's like here I am with the, the defense. I'm here with the defensive coordinator mind again, and then he's drawing up blitzes and coverages and things like that to match. And I'm just like, here I go again to have to match. You're having to match wits all day long against him. Is that kind of interesting having Gary out there on the field? Too? You know what's funny is I walked around a corner one day and I heard a hey coach and I'm just kind of looked and kind of startled for a second. So it's uh, we kind of get an offense and defense staff. So it's like when you get in the meetings, it said it's sometimes it's just unusual seeing a, a different colored shirt on him. Yeah, I guess, yeah, just with some of those guys gone, have you taken on or had, have you had to take on a little bit more of a leadership role? Uh, yes, sir, I would say so. And it's not really unnatural. I think it's kind of just stepping up in ways that, you know, you're communicating with more, you know, you're on the sideline, you know, really looking after the young players and, you know, kind of critiquing them whenever they get back to the sideline. So it's not necessarily like a, oh, my gosh, I wasn't, you know, a leader at all last year to I have to be such a big leader you know, this year because everyone's gone. I think it's just kind of the little things that, you know, we're missing without Jake or Drake. So I don't really think that's a big jump or something that I can't handle, but I think that I've definitely, you know, kind of taken a more great, you know, leadership spot on tight end. What is the competition in that room, knowing it, that it's a new offense that maybe doesn't lean on the tight end as much? You know, what, what, what's the competition within all of y'all? I mean, there was competition, you know, every year that I was – you know, at Baylor, you know, we had nine tight ends last year and then six my freshman year and, you know, however much. So, I mean, it's competition every day. You know, there's definitely certain people that can do, you know, different roles, you know, in the tight end room. So, I mean, you're compete, you know, competing against certain people, you know, certain, you know, roles that you have on a team. So, I mean, I think it's – there's always going to be competition. You know, so it's, it's the same as it always been. Sure, when you're expecting to play wide zone and have the tight end be pretty utilized and – Grimes' offense, what did Jake Stavrill sell you on sticking around and being part of his offense? Uh, first, I think just, you know, meeting Spav. He's an awesome dude. You know, he's someone that you really want to play for. And then Jake Roberts, old teammate at UNT, actually went to Cal, transferred to Cal, played with Spav, and he was kind of more blocking tight end as I am. And I watched his film, and, you know, he's a steamroller. He hits people, and I'm kind of the same way. And he likes to use those type of people in his offense. And so – you know, he was someone I wanted to play for, and I knew that the body type and the player that I am, there's a role in that offense. You talked about the blocking a little bit, but you've had some snaps at fullback. Is that, is that something that could continue moving forward? Uh, maybe, hopefully. I I don't know. I haven't really spoken to him about it. And, you know, if the opportunity is there, you know, I love fullback, and, you know, just as much as I do tight end. But if it's there, I'd love to play fullback again. Kevin, who, who have you seen step up in terms of, you know, like I said, with those – Top two gone. Who's seen step up in that room? I would definitely say Klopp. You know, he's not in the room anymore, but he, you know, he played a lot last year, and he was kind of more in between, you know, pe pass catching and blocking. And I think now he's kind of really putting it all together, being really physical in the run game, and then being really crisp with his routes. And he's, you know, he, he already has really good hands, and he came from, you know, high school that you know got used a lot in route running. So you know, he already has that background. He's took a really big jump, and he's you know, right in the competition with everyone. How's the uh, transition with the new tight ends coach, Coach Anderson, coming in? Does he, does he fit in with this group, and, and what's he like? Oh, yeah, he's awesome. And I actually, I actually hurt his shoulder running into in uh, football school. I was running around, and I clocked it right in the middle of the field. So it was kind of a great first impression by me. But 
I mean, he's awesome. You know, he you know takes us out to dinners and he's really close with all of us and you know calls us you know all the time and I think just his football knowledge is something that we could all you know kind of get around with him and it just makes us want to play for him you know even more knowing how smart he is. Funny enough, I was gonna ask when I saw him in a sling if one of you had blocked him. Too far. Yeah, that was me. I <laughs> they threw him a route over the middle and I was going for it and I didn't see him and I clocked him and took him down. So. Whoops! I guess I know he can. I can hit hard. I don't know. Has he brought it up every day? Oh, so much. I mean, every day. And he he'll meet a recruit. And they'll say, "Oh yeah, you know, 43 right there." He just he I tore his rotator cuff. I didn't even know like how I did that. I tore his rotator cuff. I was like, "Man, I'm sorry, coach. I I'd known for maybe a week." So, good first impression. In terms of uh, position coach, when you have a position coach who's also the OC versus now one who's just your position coach. Does that change any way in which you know practices go, or the way that you guys get more work in terms of just being tight ends, or does anything change? In that? Yeah, I think a little bit. When whenever you're in the team settings, he's always with the tight ends, and he's always coaching us up. As with Grimes, he was over the whole offense. He was you know behind the offense. He was with O line, quarterbacks, receivers, tight ends. You know everyone. So I think. You're start. You're getting more of Anderson's focus, you know, on yourself and you know the rest of the tight ends. So I think that's a difference that you kind of have to adjust to. But both are good. I don't mind either or. You kind of touched on it, but um, I mean, I think from the outside, people will say, "Oh well, the tight ends are just not going to be part of this offense." But I've seen it out there. I mean, the yards, they're in the routes quite a bit, right? Yes, sir. Definitely. I mean, we're we're going to get used and. How much? Who knows? You know, that's, you know, based off the game, performance and whatnot. But, I mean, in the pass game and in the run game as well. So, I think we're going to get used. And, you know, there's a reason that, you know, the tight ends stuck around and they didn't, you know, all transfer. So, I think that speaks more volumes than anything else. Well, I guess, uh, obviously, a new coach, mm -hmm. uh, position coach there, talking about that and just kind of what's the spring been like for Yeah, you? no, it's been good. All the tight ends are getting really close, I think. And I think ever since Anderson came in, it kind of just been – it's been really good. Um, he uh, really started like bringing the guys together super close, and we're we're really close together. And I think it's been it's been really good so far. As so. a tight end, I mean, what for you was appealing about staying in Jake Stavel's mm -hmm. offense? Considering I'm sure you came yeah. to run wide zone, yeah. be heavy tight end involvement. Yeah, that was that was definitely a big plus when committing to Baylor. Is just the involvement the tight ends had and how many he had was specific. But kind of seeing where Jake Spavett all and kind of his offense was going. Um, I was able to see how involved they are in the receiving game, and I just felt like that was something that was uh, strong as far as like my game goes, and so um, it was definitely a plus and something that drew me in. So, for sure. What's the learning curve been like? Have you enjoyed kind of learning <coughs> a new yeah. way of things? Or? Yeah, no. Going back for offense, it's like going back to high school almost because we ran counter in high school, and so you know you come here one wide zone and then right back to, right back to counter like you did in high school. So it's been a good learning curve, but it's been good because I'm just expanding my talents and expanding my game. So it's been good for all the tight ends. How does this offense differ in terms of how it uses the tight ends? Um, I'd say we're split out more, for sure. A lot less tight ends, but we're definitely put in more crucial positions to do um, the bigger job, I'd say. Um, definitely pulling up and inserting more often towards the linebacker. We definitely do have the key blocks on that. And so um, compared to you know the wide zone styles where we're just running off the line and hitting people in the mouth. So a lot more technique, I'd say, involved. So, But yeah, it's been good. With that change, I guess, how much can you take from last year and what do you look personally to build on this year in this offense? I think just focusing on every single aspect of the game. I think um, when it comes to receiving, working on my footwork, um, working on getting off the ball, not, no false steps. And I think when it comes to blocking, like which step go, can go first and where I can find the most power, especially from the hips. And so um, just kind of finding every little detail and every single technique or thing that I do and just um, using it to better my game 100%. So. Obviously, with Drake now gone, mm -hmm. the tight end room as a whole seen as an opportunity mm -hmm. to, you know, take some of that production and run with it. Yeah, no, it's been it's been hard, you know, no Jake or, or Drake, and so, um, but it's also been really good. New beginnings, and you know, someone's got to step up, and so um, I'm excited to see where things end up as far as you know, getting into the summer and finishing summer up and getting into fall ball. So I'm excited. Maybe aside from yourself, who has? Trig, Trig came in and started hitting the ground running. I'd say he's, he's been a big asset for the offense. Um, and also Cody Medinka, uh, he's, been, he's been kind of just playing free, I'd say. And so he's 
grown up and started making big plays this spring. So I'm really proud of him. Yeah, with those two veterans leaving, who do you lean on for leadership? I mean, we're just gonna say Gavin since yeah. he's in the room. I was I was definitely gonna say Gavin. Yeah. Um, no, Gavin's Gavin, Gavin's a guy that, that I can you know ask when I come to the sidelines or ask about schemes or fronts or something like that. Um, Kelsey, obviously, Kelsey has a lot of experience, and so he's also pretty young, you know. But he's also got a lot of experience, and he's he's a great blocker and a great player. So, got some got some got some guys I can lean on for sure. Good. Good. Thank you. Appreciate you. Great job.